the first year of issue and the end of an era, all in the same. How many coins can actually have that statement be its introduction? Actually two. I'll bring up the second one later, but the most important one, at least in my humble opinion, is this beautiful proof Kennedy half dollar. And it's not any proof Kennedy half dollar. It is the finest known, no questions asked. So first year of issue, right? The Franklin half dollar was in circulation 1948 to 1963. So the first year of issue on the Kennedy half dollar was 1964. First year, check. They made P's and D's for circulation, Philadelphia's and Denver's. And then they made proof only in proof sets for collectors. And that was a Philadelphia mint issue. We'll show that to you in a second. Right? 1964 was also the last year of issue for Philadelphia proof sets. Check. It was also the last year they made a 90% silver Kennedy half dollar. Check. Now the reason why there are no 70s and a 69 is the finest known is that's the way a 64 proof set came. And this is what they improved it on in 1968 when San Francisco took over. So that poly pack in the envelope is how the 64 proof set was released to us, the American public. Now when you look at the numbers, just the outright numbers, some of them are just, wow. The mintage figure on this, how many of those proof sets they sold, first year of issue, first Kennedy, last Philadelphia proof, last Philadelphia proof set, 3.9 million proof sets. That envelope poly pack we showed you a second ago. NGC entered the marketplace in the late 1980s. And they are currently the dominant force. They're up there with PCGS. They certify more coins than they do, but they're both highly respected. By sure volume, NGC's number one. Over the last 40 years, and the only way they get paid is taking that proof set, cutting the coin out, putting it in a holder and telling us how close to perfect it is. And in 40 years, none of them have ever been perfect. But in 69, which is near perfect, there are only 12,733. Think about that. 3.9 million made and only 12,733 survived. Well, when you look at the packaging, which is why we have it added to tonight's view, is it really explains it. A lot of people always say, well, how come there are no proof 70 Franklins or Kennedys? Early issue. And it's like, well, did you see how they packaged them? When you get back to the boxes and the punch cards, it's even worse. Now, my competition... currently are on a special. Their special price is $225. Right? We're almost $100 less. Our price is tonight only. Kind of like, like their flash sale is today. Gave me the idea. This is our best offer. $225. Here's our best offer. $129.95 and nobody can touch us in the industry. And it's the best. Period. Pretty good stuff. Now their regular price was two forty nine, so they did lower their price about twenty five dollars, which is wonderful. Hey, whenever we can save money, why would we not, right? But I'm saying tonight, there's an alternative. It's watching America's Value Channel. It's knowing where the best coin deals are on the airwaves or on the internet. Check us out at avccoins.com. If you're looking for a proof set. We got it. You're looking for a Silver Eagle? We got it. You want a Morgan Dollar? What year, what mint, what condition? Probably have it. You name it, we have it. We want to make you happy. And tonight, tonight only special is zeroing in on this one. So I made a comment earlier on reference to two. Somebody said, what's the other one? 
So thank you, Hunter. I will bring it up. Right? First year of issue, last year of issue, tied together, right? What other coin in U.S. history kind of has that flavor? Well, it's not the Flying Eagle cent. They made them in 56 and 57, right? Two cent piece, 1864, and then a little bit beyond that. Three cent silver is the same. 20 cent pieces for three years. The other coin, it was a mint inside of a coin where it kind of touches on what we're talking about tonight. 1921 was the last year of the Morgan, last year. Denver made their first Morgan dollar in 1921, so they're covering the first, that's phrase. So, more of a little tidbit, kind of a nice thing. But tonight we're talking about the special coin. I mean, how many of you have realized that the Kennedy half dollar has been out there for 60 plus years? Our largest coin for circulation. And I'll explain that in a second. Guys, give me a one minute clock, please. Getting down to single digits. They're almost gone. 2001, over two decades ago, they pulled the Kennedy half dollar from circulation. That was the last year you could go to your bank and get a coin of that year. 2002, they stopped. We didn't like it, so they brought out rolls, bags, and continued putting them in uncirculated sets and proof sets. They make about 1.5 to 1.7 million P's and D's separately every year, still today, 20 plus years later. Many people call them the forgotten Kennedys. That's how much we love it. This is the first. It is the only 90%. It is the last Philadelphia proof. It is the finest known specimen on the planet. 1964. Proof. 69 grade. 3.9 million mintage, as I referenced, which is a poly pack in that, that envelope. But as I referenced, the key is how few of them there are. 12,733 as of today. That's tiny. This one, special. Join us.